light. Great. Of course. Oh shit! Come on. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mav, where we do everything outdoors. My name is Maverick, and today I am in Washington. So I just left Boise, I left Ace and his family. They were so hospitable. Thanks again to them for uh, hosting me for the last couple days and let me sleep on their couch. But anyway, I'm back to living in my truck, and tonight is my first night back alone, and I'm gonna spend it on the Columbia River. So behind me, even though you can't see it right now, is the Columbia River, home to giant, giant white sturgeon. The ones that you hear getting to like 10 feet long, they're right here. I've actually fished the Columbia River in Washington for white sturgeon before. I hooked one and I had a line to line knot break. Tomorrow I'm coming at them with barrel swivels, some big seven knot hooks and some squid and they better be ready because I know I'm bringing my A game. We're gonna see if we can't land one alone. I guess all that's left to do is get to bed. So I'm gonna get to bed, dream about big fish and then in the morning we're hopefully gonna make those dreams come true. Good night. Well, the water's definitely a lot higher than last night even, so. Time to get my lines rigged up and get something out there. All right, so today in Washington, I'm using an oversized spinning setup. On the reel, I have a 100 pound braid, and then it goes down to a three-way swivel. On the bottom of the swivel, there's an eight ounce weight. So then I have a two-foot Dacron leader that goes to a seven-ounce hook. Um, I am using barbless because in Washington, you're not allowed to use a barb. But the really important part here is the Dacron. Dacron is going to help me not get frayed on the rocks and uh, hopefully catch a big fish. Mm. Today I've chosen to use squid as bait. Um, I've used squid in the past. Last time I was in Washington we used squid. Uh, and I'm tying it to my hook with just a simple overhand knot. Uh, I'm overhand knotting it to the hook shank and then I'm also tying it up to the eye of the hook just so it doesn't come off the current. If you guys are new to sturgeon fishing, this is a pretty simple setup. Um, feel free to copy it. By no means do I have any rights to this, but uh, just thought I'd share the little knowledge that I have about searching setups. All right, trucks moved. Fish are splashing, time to get the line in the water. So I have this crappy rod tube that I made, rod holder, just out of some PVC pipe. Hoping I can find a spot to kind of jam it in between some rocks or something. But I guess we'll see. I don't do a whole lot of fishing like this, so I haven't bought a nice rod holder yet. special sauce on. Alright, fire in the hole. Alright, the rod's set. Not really super confident in my cast, so if I don't get bit within like 30 minutes, I'm gonna move it, check my bait, and uh, get a little bit further out there. But first, I'm gonna get a cliff bar in me, grab.
grab some water, and then I'm gonna bring my chair down there and sit. Hopefully, I don't lose a rod in the meantime. <laughs> Can't get mad at me now, Mom. I got good hygiene. Okay. Gotta bring the drone just in case we hook up. Because then I can get that sweet in the water shot when it's starting. Alright. I know, it's a pretty disgusting breakfast, but um, I don't have the patience right now to make some coffee because I'm worried that my rod's gonna go in the water or I'm gonna miss a bite. So little kids, cookie dough bars and Red Bulls will do. Oh shoot, I do have Krispy Kremes in the car. Oh no. I should probably go back and get those. I suppose it's about time to check this thing. I did tie a good enough bait knot. Look at that. Fire in the hole. All right. Well, here's the deal. This thing hasn't moved in another half hour, so. I don't know if I need to get it out there further or what the deal is here, but I don't have all day sturgeon. I want a fish. Just kidding. I do have all day, but I want to maximize my efforts here. We're just going to send this one now and get out here and really just let her buck. All right. Fire in the hole. That was a good cast, boy. All right, I feel a little bit better about that. I don't know if I can do much better than that. That was as far as I can go, so. That doesn't get bit. He's like, yep, our rates are for offshore, which they really aren't that bad. He's like, our offshore rates are 950 and for a full day, which really to go catch a I think, I think I'm gonna bite right now. I think I'm gonna bite right now. I'm on! Oh! Got off! No! No! That was a bite. The first bite, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. That's all it took was to get out deeper. All right, we're gonna swing this thing right back out there. Oh my God. That did not take long at all. I'm getting a bite. He's gonna jump. Oh, it's just a little pup. <laughs> oh, it's a white sturgeon though. Oh, he's not that little. Oh. What's up, buddy? Thank you for joining me. How are you? Their skin's crazy. It's like a shark skin. I'm just gonna try to unhook them. Marbleous hook came right out. You good? 
there he goes. Cool. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Woo. I did it. Finally caught a white sturgeon. Um, I didn't want to bring him up here because I was a little scared that, you know, he was either going to pull my rod in or I was going to hurt him. I'd say he was probably about around 40 to 45 inches. He jumped out of the water and that was really cool. I don't know, I'm pretty shaken up right now. That bite really felt like nothing. It felt like a trash fish. And then he just like, the difference was is he kept holding onto it. And uh, I just kind of made the decision to ease into it. And luckily I got him. So sweet, I'm gonna look for a bigger one. Um, I gotta tie some new bait on. And then I guess hopefully we can catch like a big, big giant one now. I mean, look at how much of that squid is gone. If you remember, I had two pieces on there, so he just kind of, he just kind of wrecked all my bait. So we're gonna redo the whole thing. I'm not gonna complain about that. My Dacron is looking a little, a little frayed. I'm not really sure. I mean, I know this stuff is really durable, but I just, I'm not sure when I'm supposed to retie it. If it's now or, I mean, I've got four hooks, so I almost, I'm tempted just to do that. You know what? Yeah, I think we are gonna do that. Check my braid quick, make sure there's no dings in that. Like I said, it's very, very rocky down there, so it's crucial to be checking all your lines and your knots and everything before you uh, hook up, because if you hook up on a 100-pound sturgeon, you, you don't really have that much room for mistakes, and I've learned that <laughs> bad knots don't mix well with big fish, so. So my buddy Sam Ong Yang actually showed me this when I was sturgeon fishing last time, how to knot up the baits. All right, we're just gonna load this puppy up. Oh, there goes the red bolt. Pour some out for the homies there. Oh, ow, my knees on the rocks. Ooh. Okay, oh man. A bite? What's happening here? Is it tumbling? Probably just tumbling, huh? Oh, that ain't a. That's a bite, dude. My line just went slack. That's a bite. Can't tell if he has it still though or not. Don't get impatient, Mav. It's a barbless hook. It's okay. Let him eat it. Little bit bigger than the last one. Not by much though. Nice. Gonna get him up on this rock again. Same as the last one. Okay, buddy. Okay, let's flip you over. I'd say he's getting closer to 50, but not quite though. I'm just gonna let him go. See you, dude. Ha <laughs> you! Nice. <laughs> Sorry, I still couldn't show this camera, but what am I supposed to do? I'm battling like close to 50 inch fish by myself here. All right, well, I've been waiting around for about two more hours without a bite. It's noon now. Actually, it's about 1230. Um, I've got one piece of squid left. Got the one that's on right now and then I've got one piece left. So I don't think I'm gonna leave until I either don't get another bite, <laughs> so I'll leave tonight, or until I use up all my squid. I really wanna try to catch a fish that's over 40, over 45 inches. I want one of those super giants. I am happy with the two that I've got so far, but I just, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to come and do this next. So I'd like to milk it while I can to try to get an eight footer. Uh, this next one. I'm gonna try to document a little better. Um, I'm gonna try to fly the drone. It's gonna be no easy task because I'm gonna have to see the bite, launch the drone, and get it out there. Yeah, it's just like, that stuff's a pain in the butt to do by yourself, so. Wish I had somebody else here, but it is nice uh, 
being being by my lonesome a little bit. It's nice to sit in my thoughts and really think about nothing. <laughs> so, all right. Hopefully next time you guys see me, I'm just roping in on a big sturgeon. That's a fish. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take off. Oh, it's still there. Big. It's not very big. I don't think. Can't be that big. Oh wow, smallest one yet. But it's a sturge. A sturgy. Hi, buddy. Hey, dude. All right, well, this is the smallest one yet. But he's a sturgeon, the right species. Get him unhooked here. You can see on his head, they've got some really, really cool markings. Pretty sweet, we're gonna get this guy back. See you, buddy. He actually had some clipped fins. I don't know if that was from me or how the heck that happened, but his two uh, side fins are all messed up and I noticed my line was kind of wrapped around in that area. I hope that wasn't for me, but it's hard to imagine that I could do it that easily. We're still searching for the big mama. Luckily he didn't take all of our bait. This is a bigger fish, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, this is a lot bigger fish. This is the one I was looking for. Oh my God. He doesn't even really know he's hooked yet, I don't think. too far because these rocks are so slippery. Pull me right in. This is a giant. He's not even trying, dude. He's not even trying.
He's like a 50. He is horse and me though. We got a fighter on our hands, boys and girls. Ooh, this is a big boy. Oh, he's definitely big on the 50. Ooh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. joking this thing is huge uh, oh oh holy moly okay I gotta launch the drone all right we're gonna get this big guy unhooked and then release him Alright, he's unhooked. Alright. Come on! Well, apparently none of you wanted to tell me that I had freaking toothpaste on my face all day, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome day on the water. So happy to be out here in Washington. Um, my next stop is going to be a little more further west, and I'm going to be meeting up with the Addicted Angling Boys, and we're going to be going for salmon. So This is hands down one of the best days that I've ever had fishing by myself. So I shattered my PV sturgeon today, and I caught my, uh, caught my first white, and I did it six times in a row, five, six numbers hard um anyway thank you guys so much for tuning this episode of mav i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below if you did give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it this channel is growing so fast and uh you guys can obviously you can expect two videos a week now so <sighs> just gotta gotta think about how blessed i am for being able to experience a day like today it couldn't have gone any better so thank you guys so much for tuning this episode of mav and girls Thanks everyone for tuning in this episode of Mav. I appreciate it. Um, my name is Maverick, and until next time, you already know the drill. Just keep on trucking. Wow, I can't even speak. These things are gassing me out, man. That's tough fish. There must be a, a feeding window or something going on right now. So I just got this bait out there. Smallest one all day. All right. Oh, that's good up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs>